I will now show you the preparations for normobaric ozone therapy. Here we have the vacuum bottle, transfer filter set, the transfusion instruments, a disposable cannula, the citrate liquid, a 60 milliliter syringe, a bacteria filter, as well as a butterfly. I open the vacuum bottle, close the roll closure on the transfer filter set, remove the cannula protection and lead the cannula to the intersection. Then the transfusion instruments, I close the roll closure here too. Remove the cannula protection and then lead the cannula into the large circle. I remove the protective cap of the transfusion instruments. Lead a disposable cannula to the end. Open it and then draw the citrate into the transfusion set. Finally, I use the bacteria filter and the 60 milliliter syringe on the left point of use of the device. After the patient has been punctured, we can begin the treatment. After puncturing the vein, I connected the transfusion instruments and, as you can see, the vacuum bottle has already drawn quite a lot of blood. I then click the syringe display. Set the concentration to be selected, confirm this and wait for the ozone mixture to build up. The syringe fills up by pressing the fill button. We discard the first partition. The syringe is only used for the second filling. I remove the syringe, apply it to the transfer instruments and open the roll closure. The ozone goes into the bottle after gentle pressing. I close the roll closure and repeat this process twice. Then I shake the blood ozone mixture again, turn the bottle right up. And let the mixture flow back into the patient with an open roll closure. During this process, the blood ozone mixture should be continuously shaken. After completion of the transfusion, I close the roll closure and the treatment is thereby completed. The patient remains laid down for a moment for debriefing.